Because the idea is, is to break things up in pulses. So that you're not burning the energy constantly in the circuit. You want to turn it off before the current can catch up. And so what we've done is, is we put a little model together uh, for everybody. And then we'll, we'll show it after we just do a little bit more with this. So anyway, what I've drawn here, and I, I want to get out of the way of this. I want to actually point, okay, this is the full Tesla switch. Batteries indicated in electrical terms with these symbols. The red, the plus, the black, the minus. The transistor indicated E. B and C. And what I want to make known right now, right at the start here, is the test unit that we built with this design right here is the MJL 21194, which is used in the monopole motor. It's the NPN. Yeah, it's the NPN transistor. So if you if you follow this through, you can see what Bron Ronald Brent was trying to depict by this drawing that he handed me in 1984 when he wanted me to switch. And so what has to happen here is if these, these batteries are 5 volts each, what he, what he wanted to do was you take this side of the switch and you turn on three devices. Now, with the blue marker, I'm going to indicate what's, which ones turn on on this side. So, what Ronald Brent wanted done was he wanted this switch to turn on, this switch to turn on, and the opposite switch to turn on. And then what you get is you get this current flow across here that lights this LED. And I'll show you that in the model. You may not think so now, but it's a true fact that it's definitely going to turn on. Okay, so the second set of switches, I'm going to indicate with the red dot what he, what he wants to come on. I want you to take a look at that for a minute. minute. So what's, what we want to have happen here is we want this to alternate back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We want this to become 10 volts, this to become 5 volts, this to become 10 volts, this to become 5 volts. So our load is then placed between the two negative terminals. And that's AC. That is alternating. What do you mean by the load, John? Well, the load is the energy that you can draw out of the system without affecting the charge of the batteries. Okay. So, remember what I said. Does it enhance the charging of the battery? No. Yes, because it's a pulse charge. And at very low frequency and I'm going to bring up the frequency because the slower this goes the better these batteries are going to charge back and forth back and forth but that does no good unless you can rectify this and charge a capacitor and use the DC alright 
So, I want you to understand the blue dots are the transistors that are going on on the left side here. The red dots are completely off when the blues are on. When the reds are on, the blues are completely off. So what you're doing is you're sending the potential difference this way and then that way. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So you're actually just trying to keep all these batteries charged in the circuit. And this is the diagram that Ronald Brent presented to me back then. Now, what we want to do is uh, show you that we've drawn this circuit here, and we want you to take a good look at that for a minute. And uh, then we're going to run the machine and show you that it operates exactly like what we're seeing on the board here. Okay, so now any now that you've seen the circuit, and and I've explained to you that this side, this side here, the blue dots go on, the red dots are off. So that means you're switching the load backwards and forwards, and and a, an easy way to think of that is a rocking pendulum. It's that way, and then it's that way. It goes this way, and turns these on, and these charge. And then it goes the other direction, and turns these on, and the other side charges. And then what you're doing with the negative terminals, remember what I said about the batteries, and I'll go back over that again. I'll put that right here for you. So you can see what this side is doing. So these, this transistor right here is sending the energy this way. And I'll indicate that by a blue gun. And this transistor here is turning these two on. To put them as if you turned on the light switch. And the load as it flows from this side to this side you can have the difference in potential and charge the battery. So as soon as the battery, the weaker the battery is, the more of the energy it will suck up to charge. So your load would be right here. Between, guess what? The two negative terminals. And you say, well, how could that work? Well, it works. You just build this circuit. So <laughs> tell me it's going the other way. Well, when it goes the other way. It's like that inverted? Or yes, yeah, that's, yes, it's the opposite way. Yeah, okay. So this is just a de de depiction of what's going on here. So you don't see, you don't see the blue dot. The other blue dot would be over here yeah. to let it come to the to the diodes. See? Right here. Yeah. So it goes the other way. It's a mirror image. <clears throat> it's a mirror image of it. And if this is at zero degrees, the other one, the other side is going to be at 180. Series parallel, parallel series. Yes. Okay. So let's run the machine and show you that there's no trickery here. All right, so anyway, this is the actual machine, and it's running. And remember what I said. What's the negative energy is a constant source. That's indicated by this yellow light right here. That's exactly what you're seeing. You're seeing both sides switch 180 degrees out of phase from each other. And the frequency is adjusted by the potentiometer that was in there. And watch the radiant. 
or the negative when I do this. It gets, stays the same, but more, it's, it's constant. 